So this week, the Bank of England launched a consultation into a so-called Britcoin, that is, a central bank digital currency, or a CBDC. They say it will help businesses maintain trust in money and better protect financial stability, and it looks like they may launch it by the end of the decade. It sounds helpful, but what are the biggest risks surrounding CBDCs? Well, I think there are a number of concerns around central bank digital currency. One is that if you have programmable currency uh, and then it's well, partly it's a question there's a question of surveillance partly there's a question of control we need to contextualize this <clears throat> the bank of international settlements the ceo said that we'll be able to monitor every single transaction who's doing it where and when and how that happens onto every dollar uh, and if we think about what's happened in the last period with, for instance, President Trudeau uh, freezing accounts of people who've donated towards certain campaigns like the truckers in Canada, it was big tech was used um, at GoFundMe and platforms were used to, to actually take down accounts uh, and stop them. So one key point in support of CBDCs is technological competition. If China or Russia get there first, it will make the West weaker since currently most of the world uses America's SWIFT system for financial transactions. So what are your thoughts here? I think the thing is that I'm all for technological development, rapid. Uh, we need much more than we currently have. But I don't think it's particularly a challenge that, that the yuan, the digital yuan, is going to come before something else. We can decide in our own sovereign nations how to organize ourselves and we can also continue to trade as we do internationally, as we have done for a very long time. This is a, 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 a solution that's not needed for a problem that's not there. So it's the wrong way around that people are thinking about it. So you noted the digital yuan. So China's already testing it in, in a variety of cities. Uh, but China's also known for its social credit score system. How easy would it be to implement a similar system in the UK if we have a Britcoin? Well, this is exactly what I was referring to earlier. I think that the social credit system is enormously concerning. And uh, we don't have that currently. And we absolutely should not have that. However, moves towards doing certain things like low traffic neighborhoods up to 75 percent of roadblocks in certain boroughs in london and across the uk with 15 to 20 minute neighborhoods fines around ulez and ulez expansion and ignoring what people want we know that various people have been taken down from big tech platforms there's been all sorts of censorship and spying and surveillance so whilst china has some very concerning issues going on i think in britain we have enormous concerns as well so one of the selling points that the Bank of England has spoken about is that the money can be programmable. Um, they say that parents can program the, the money they give their children so that kids can't buy sweets. But uh, this brings it back to the issue of how we're allowed to use our own money. I think there's a real concern, the idea that anything should be controlled, not by ourselves. We have to be able to exercise our own judgment, our own decision making. And already there's too much nudge there's too much surveillance. There's too much trying to push things in a direction, impositions and restrictions. We're seeing them everywhere up and down the country in Britain with uh, blocking off roads, ignoring consultation. When they put consultations out to people, ignoring what the responses are, they're very loaded. And at the moment, the obsession with central bank digital currency, which Rishi had said before he wanted to do, and now Jeremy Hunt has made this statement, and the fact that the Bank for International Settlements and others are so excited about it all should give everyone pause. Uh, but one thing we need to make sure that whatever happens is that choice and our own free decision making continues. And at together, that's paramount for us. And we're going to keep championing and fighting for that. Alan, thank you for joining us. Thank you.